back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman, coming to you from our studios at the Capital Region International Airport. But staying in the mid-Michigan area, we're going to spend a little time with Brian Peters, CEO of the MHA, which is the Michigan Health and Hospital Association. Brian, welcome to the show as always. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good morning, Chris. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to be with you, and I'm uh, doing well. Good. Excellent. And and your, I guess your industry is going through some interesting times right now. There was some pretty big news last week with uh, an announcement of a joint venture between Henry Ford and uh, and Ascension. It seems like hospitals are consolidating. Um, talk a little bit about that. Well, that's right. And this has really been a trend that we've been uh, tracking for, uh, frankly, decades. Uh, you know, when I started at the MHA uh, 34 years ago, We had nearly 240 hospitals here in the state of Michigan, and most of them were truly independent. They were not part of a a multi-hospital system. You know, right in our hometown of Lansing, we had four uh, truly independent uh, competing hospitals uh, by way of example. And of course, uh, we're down to two uh, in reality. Uh, One of those uh, part of the McLaren system, a multi-hospital system. The other, Sparrow, now part of the... uh, a Michigan medicine family. And so we see this trend continuing. And what's really uh, what's really changed now that we're down to about 130 hospitals in the state. So uh, closing roughly 100 hospitals in the last 34 years, Chris, and seeing the number of inpatient beds uh, go from about 50,000 uh, back in those days to around 25,000 uh, today. Uh, it's a real consolidation and, and contraction and there are many, many drivers uh, to those trends and, and happy to talk about those. But, you know, the numbers are are pretty uh, striking. Yeah, they really are. You know, I saw the same thing in the banking industry years ago. And I think we have like one fifth the number of banks we had 50 years ago because of that. But it does make some sense. Now, how, how does hospital and health system consolidation impact, say, access to, to health care? And, you know, in particular, probably in the rural areas. So the decline in the number of hospital beds, inpatient hospital beds in the state that I mentioned, the reality is that much of that uh, was driven by improved technologies, uh, improved uh, prescription drug uh, introductions to the market that really have allowed us to treat patients in a way that does not require as extensive of a hospital stay. And that's why average length of stay, which is a metric that we track uh, all the time, uh, that has declined, not just in Michigan, but across the country. And that's a good thing. It really is. It means that uh, we're in a better position to provide care that that gets people home or to another site of care in more rapid fashion. So that's certainly a positive. And I would say that uh, some of the contraction that we've seen in the state has really been a result of uh, creating efficiencies, economies of scale, uh, if you will. Uh, We know that uh, patient access is uh, first and foremost in the mind of all of our hospital and health system leaders. And it's really a question of how to create that best access, not only to inpatient hospitalization, but certainly to outpatient care as well. Just as inpatient beds have contracted, we've seen a dramatic increase in the number of opportunities for patients to access care on an outpatient basis. You know, another thing I've noticed is that what used to be terribly invasive surgeries, which required longer rehab, are not as invasive anymore. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, And again, that points to the improved technologies that are always coming uh, to market and telehealth as well. I think we have to bear in mind that uh, today we have an opportunity that frankly didn't exist uh, 30 some years ago or even 20 years ago where Uh, services, including behavioral health services, can be provided via uh, telehealth. So patients in uh, rural or isolated parts of the state, they can access uh, professionals in real time, uh, face-to-face, as we're doing now. And uh, that's uh, only going to increase uh, and improve going forward. But Chris, part of the, uh, the solution there has to be uh, high-speed internet access for all Michiganders. I know that's a uh, an objective that's shared not only by the MHA, but many of our partners in the business community and beyond. 
Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's uh, that's job one. So well, there are a lot of benefits to these mergers and acquisitions, right? Well, there's no question. And part of that uh, really gets back to uh, the economies of scale, whether it's in the purchasing of supplies and equipment. Quite frankly, a lot of it has to do with access to capital. So we know that every hospital, large and small in Michigan, has to modernize and expand to keep pace with demand. And therefore, uh, you need that access to capital that may not exist in, anymore if you are a freestanding independent hospital. And so you have that access. Physician recruitment and retention is also critically important, and it's a benefit that comes with scale uh, for a variety of reasons. And so that's another driver of this trend. And, and Chris, what we're seeing now is the number of truly independent small hospitals clearly is dwindling to the point where now what we're seeing is the integration, the mergers between multi-hospital systems. That's a new development in the last few years. Again, not just in Michigan, but nationally as well. And I think we'll continue to see more of that, uh, the mega merger uh, as uh, it's been termed. That's what I thought as well. So Brian, thanks so much for joining us. Brian Peters, CEO of uh, MHA, the Michigan Health and Hospital Association. Keep up the good work and keep us posted on how this is going forward. Will do. Thanks as always, Chris. Appreciate it. Watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Hunt.